okay this is kind of like an impromptu video and I hope you can hear me because I have on the fan and the AC and it's loud but I'm not turning it off because it's hot down here but I'm about to um I'm actually about to restock on one of my teas the men's vitality tea because I'm out of stock and I have some orders to fill so I was just about to make it and I started thinking because okay maybe I'm gonna turn off the fan I turn off the fan for a quick second so you know this video ain't gonna be long because I will start to sweat but I want y'all to hear me so if you didn't hear what I said I did say that this is kind of an impromptu video I'm about to restock on one of my herbal tea blends which is the men's vitality tea because I have a few orders for it and I'm out of stock completely yeah I was just about to start and something came to mind because I'm here cleansing my space I like to cleanse around me and cleanse myself before I make my my products especially my herbal teas and stuff because you know everything holds energy and I like to be good feel good be good make sure my energy is light when I'm putting my hands on stuff that I will be giving to other people um, where was I yes yeah, something came to mind while I was just about to start and I created the men's vitality tea because I am all about women's health womb health holistic healing as it pertains to the womb you know pregnancy labor birth everything regarding to a woman's life and her vitality but something we don't really think about is how our partner how the men affects our womb health so yes I do have teas for men as well I have the men's vitality tea and I have the prostate health tea amongst my peers and even older women and even younger women like as young as 20 22 and stuff we a lot of women suffer from a lot of womb diseases such as fibroids picos endometriosis hormonal imbalance infertility the list goes on but on the men's side of it we don't really talk about their health their reproductive health oh see i started to sweat already but yeah we don't really talk or think about the men's reproductive health how it affects them and how it affects us as partners as sexual partners as intimate partners it's really because that there is a lot of shame attached to men when it comes to their reproductive health whether it's erectile dysfunction um, not having enough stamina <laughs> um, low sperm count and then when you get into their prostate issues and the balling of the head and stuff listen I'm here to tell you if you're a male if you're a man if you're a king that's watching this right now I am here to tell you there's no need to be ashamed if you are struggling with anything regarding your reproductive organs and your reproductive health because it is way more common than you could ever imagine and with my men vitality tea actually a lot of women are buying that tea for their partner so that alone tells you that you know there's issues out there but the men are not stepping up or you know taking initiative to fix it because they're ashamed or they're so caught up in their ego that they don't even want to admit that they get a sexual problem like anyways <laughs> um, I say all of that to say this women encourage your men to take care of their reproductive health their reproductive organs um, the state of their health affects the state of yours they can easily throw off your pH balance they could easily um, which will easily lead to like yeast infections and BV and itching and all kind of other discomfort that we gotta deal with as women like don't allow your partner to completely disregard issues that he's he's dealing with because of shame or embarrassment and then you're stuck dealing with the repercussions encourage them like have those conversations there's nothing to be ashamed about like say like hey babe love like um your performance is not as great as it used to be what happened like talk about it have those conversations say stuff like you know I really think we should both get on this regimen or we should both be drinking this tea because it says to help such and such and I noticed that we've been having this issue like really talk about it have that conversation there is no shame whatsoever there should be no shame especially if that person is your partner now if you're out there just you know with just any and everybody you have the decision to go on to the next and that's 
that's your decision but if you are in a committed long-term relationship with this person or you have this one person that's your sexual partner or whatever the case may be and you notice he's having issues by all means have that conversation and for the men I just want to point out a few things that really affects your reproductive health that nobody really wants to admit and nobody wants to like really take that lifestyle change to make sure that they're good smoking it doesn't matter what you're smoking whether it's cigarettes whether it's weed whether it's tobacco tobacco whether it's blend in your weed whatever the case is smoking in itself will affect will affect your reproductive health in terms of your stamina in terms of your size um, in terms of your sperm count all of that because smoking dehydrates the body at a cellular level so it's not just making you like making your mouth dry or whatever smoking is literally dehydrating you down to your cell so if you're dehydrated your lack circulation in in your reproductive area all of that is going to affect your performance because you need like when a man gets erected that's because all of the blood is like rushing to one spot you need circulation for that you need yeah you need good circulation in order to perform well you need your body needs oxygen your body needs vitamin minerals nutrients in order to operate in its best capacity so as much as you would think that oh i've been smoking since i was 13 15 i never had an issue of course you didn't have an issue these problems don't happen overnight it happened over years of doing something so you may have been able to smoke back then and it never affected your performance but now you're starting to have issues that's because you've been doing it for years and if you're if you're like in your 30s or 40s and you're not having issues yet it could still come like it can still start to affect you in the long run so smoking you want to either stop or decrease the amount of times you smoke like I am convinced a lot of men use it as a coping mechanism as a way to escape and I get that but that's a toxic coping mechanism and you should kind of like face that and and acknowledge that and try and decipher why you're using that to cope with whatever you're dealing with okay so smoking alcohol i'm getting all kind of interruptions today <sighs> my mother just reached home with this guy so he's gonna want a nurse because he hasn't been with me all day i'm not talking to you but yeah um alcohol alcohol is a huge dehydrator it's not it doesn't just dehydrate the body but it also damages the liver and the kidneys and how um, increase the levels of toxins in your blood so child put the alcohol down if you are having reproductive issues if you are having um, problem with your stamina with your sperm count with fertility in general smoking and drinking should be two things that you stop immediately the next is high processed sugars them energy drinks and um, any type of sodas and then processed foods junk food candy cookies fast food all of that is going to affect your body in a negative way which then re affects your reproductive health which then affects your performance soy my goodness I could record a whole different video on soy but soy is very destructive to, destructive to the reproductive system for both men and women those four things I would recommend that if you're having issues whether you're a man or woman with anything pertaining to your reproductive organs your reproductive health fertility in general I would definitely cut out smoking alcohol sugar and soy immediately then hop on the teas drink the teas consistently on a regular basis three times a day drink plenty of water eat lots of fruits especially watermelon for the men it definitely helps with erectile dysfunction watermelon is one of those power fruits that doesn't get the rip that it needs my point of the matter is men take care of yourself not just for yourself but for your partner you don't want to be the cause of her dealing with yeast infections and P 
pH issues and BV and all of that. You do not want to be the cause of that. Because she could be taking care of herself, but she's intimate with you and you messing up her whole ecosystem down there. It's not fair to her and it's also not fair to yourself. Just take better care of yourself. I can't stress that enough. Once you start taking care of yourself, everything else will fall into place. And it all starts with what you are consuming, what you are putting into your body. So, I'm about to go make this tea. And, um, I don't know, maybe I'll show some clips of the tea, of the herbal blend mix in this video, just so that you all see. And then the label and the bottle and all of that. But, I just wanted to share that quick message because it came to my mind and I haven't really touched on men's reproductive health on this channel yet and I should because it affects the woman as well you know it's all about duality got the feminine and the masculine and everything so <clears throat> anyways I'm gonna end the video here to all of my melanated women protect your womb by any means necessary and to everyone watching protect your peace by any means necessary I wish you all love light and prosperity and you'll see me in my next video. Peace. So I just finished up making the herbal tea blend for the men's vitality tea. And um, I forgot to like set up my camera and film it. But this is how it looks. Focus. 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 There we go. And this is great for a healthy to promote a healthy sperm production and overall reproductive health in men but yeah i just wanted to come on here since i mentioned it in the video i just wanted to show that some of my other herbal teas that's great for men and just anybody in general is the blood purifier which is great 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 for like if you don't know where to start you're on your health journey and you just don't know what tea to start with the blood purifier is always the number one pick also have the liver detox which is good for men and women, everybody. Um, the digestive ease. My son is over here messing with stuff. The digestive ease. Uh, what else? The breed easy. Okay. I completely recommend this for anybody who has been a heavy smoker or for anybody who has recently stopped smoking. I want to focus on your lung health I definitely recommend the breathe easy and even if you're currently smoking um, and you don't plan on quitting at least drink something to help combat what you're doing to damage yourself so definitely the breathe easy so the men's vitality the prostate health tea blood purifier liver, liver detox um, digestive ease breathe easy like I have teas for both women and men and women and I don't even I don't talk about the men's side of things but I am going to start because it's very very important um, not just for themselves but for us too as women so anyways I gotta go because I gotta go pick up my boys and take them to therapy and soccer practice and just be a mom so I hope you all enjoyed this little video very impromptu nothing I actually planned on filming but I just wanted to share that share my little insights on men's health and the importance of men's health as it relates to the woman anyways I think I already like in this video so I'm just gonna cut it off here <laughs>